Hi guys, in this video we want to install Drupal 8 uh, very quickly on our local machine using MAMP. So you want to first download MAMP under MAMP.info and yeah, I want to download the English version here. So it's slash en and now I go to download and download the latest package here. Okay, and yeah, it takes me like 40 seconds and I can tell you what MAMP actually is. Um, MAMP is an AMP stack, it provides an Apache server and um, M stands for MySQL and the P stands for PHP and that are the technologies you want to use or you need to or that are required in order to install a Drupal installation because Drupal is based on PHP and uh, mostly a uh, MySQL database. So we want to use an AMP stack. Yeah, and there's, for example, when you are a Windows user, you want to watch a video about RAMP, what is Windows Apache MySQL, or yeah, it's, I think it's um, RAMP. And yeah, is it RAMP actually? I'm not a that frequent Windows user. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's RAMP, AMP stack for Windows. AMP stack for Windows. Okay, RAMP and you, there's also MAMP for Windows, I think. Okay, nice, now MAMP downloaded here and I can install it for all my users here. Okay, agree, install for all users on the, this computer here, install. And I must provide my username and password and my MAMP installation is performed here. Okay, and we want to go to the um, Drupal website here, or we want to download uh, Drupal 8. Download Drupal 8. It's just the developer release here. Um, it's Drupal 8 slash node slash uh, 57, um, 28, 34. You have to go to, and then you can download the .tar.gz file and then you may go to want to go to your downloads folder and um, yeah you can unzip this by just double clicking this file here and you have the latest Drupal core here you can just um, yeah uh, copy this folder here copy 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 paste um, and paste this into your new folder created by MAMP here htdocs you want to go to um, MAMP here and we can open this open this in Finder and now I am uh, in my folder here app applications MAMP htdocs and I want to copy my Drupal 8 uh, folder here and what I um, advise you to do is to open up MAMP here on your computer just launching MAMP and then there's one very, very um, important setting here. Um, and that is that you set your folder here. When you have several projects, you could use MAMP Pro, but I think the best um, yeah, workaround to um, host uh, several pages is to begin with this um, workflow here to just set your, um, your uh, document root to your current um, project you're working on. So you go to Macintosh applications, I search for MAMP and then I want to go to htdocs here and choose this folder here. But I think this name isn't pretty enough here for me. So I want to go back to MAMP, htdocs, open this and call that Drupal. Um, okay. Mm. I want to choose this and select it and click OK. And now you can, yeah, first we could have a sneak preview to our um, start page here when we start the server here. Yeah, our start page here. And we have all the tools we need here. Um, we have, for example, the PH, PHP My Admin interface. We can yeah, import a database here in case we want to import an, a Drupal page um, from our web host. Um, the, 
and we want to copy this to our local machine, we could import the database here in localhost and just put our document structure here and here um, edit the settings.php uh, file. But in this example, we want to have a clean install. So we want to go to localhost um, HHH here, yeah, okay. And in some cases that wouldn't work um, because yeah, your um, 8888 port here is taken already, then you would have to Google why isn't that working and then switch the port. You can do that in the MAM settings as well. I've experienced that sometimes. So just for um, yeah, note, uh, just for a side note here, it could be that this is already taken. Okay, save and continue here. This is our Drupal installation. Save and continue. Oh, we want to choose English, oh, of course, yeah. English, save and continue. The standard installation profile. Um, the database name. Okay, so we have to create a new database here. Let's create a database. So this is the first time we will need our um, PHP my admin tool here. Open this and then say, okay, we need a new database. Our Drupal database here. Collation, yeah, that's fine, okay. Um, and yeah, what is the user actually? We can check this out here. Our user or database user, which has, uh, who has all the permissions is, um, is, <laughs> is the root user, I guess. Yeah, root and password is root. So I guess we can choose this user, let's say. Drupal is the database, root, root. You could, or I would advise you to create a new user for every instance you are installing here. If it's WordPress or uh, Drupal, it doesn't matter, but for every system I would uh, create a new user and then, yeah, um, give the user the required permissions here. So, so for example, you could create a new user here by add user and then say, okay, this user belongs to the Drupal database here. That would be a better idea, but in this example here, we just want to have a very quick installation here. I don't want to annoy you with uh, creating users. Um, okay, my email address is um, yeah, example at gmail.com. Okay, my username is admin. My password is um, admin to admin, okay. So I have admin, admin here, default country is, um, yeah, I choose uh, Germany. Okay, my time zone, okay, check for new updates. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay, 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 I wanna save this password here for now. And I can see, yeah, I have a Drupal 8 installation here and you can see this is even new for me here. I haven't installed it uh, yet, but I, yeah, I know for, or, I have installed one year ago, but yeah, Drupal takes its time to develop. So I guess it will take another half year until this nice Drupal and very responsive Drupal 8 will be released. You can see this menu here is so responsive. It's so nice. Um, and I guess it's, yeah, a very fresh content management uh, system when they uh, will be released a, the um, Drupal 8 version. Okay, so I think you will have a lot of fun um, with developing your website locally because locally it's so much fun because you can easily go into your file structure and edit your CSS and have a preview immediately. So this is such a cool idea to work uh, locally. And I hope you have a lot of fun with Drupal 8. See us in later videos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I will get a like when I really helped you. Okay, and yeah, have a nice day. Thanks.